You're watching This Week in Fish and Wildlife, sponsored by Bozeman-based Sims Fishing Products, the industry leader in fishing apparel. Thursday morning time once again for This Week in Fish and Wildlife. Once again, outside Region 3 headquarters with Morgan Jacobson. Hunting season in full swing. Um, a lot of uh, what happens out uh, in the field, though, involves private land. And that's one of those things that hunters need to be real careful about and and there's some tips to pass along to hunters if they do want to hunt on folks land. That's right Chet, so uh, you know we get asked uh, many times throughout the year um, whether fish, wildlife and parks or how fish, wildlife and parks facilitates hunter access on private mm -hmm. land mm -hmm. uh, and really there's a couple of ways that that happens. Uh, the biggest one is probably through our block management program uh, which is uh, an outstanding program that provides free access for hunters on private land uh, and also reimburses uh, private landowners for uh, the impacts of that access. And so, you know, uh, we, we want to remind hunters uh, uh, to, uh, you, know, um, you know, follow some simple um, steps of courtesy uh, to, to be able to maintain and facilitate that access going forward, whether it's in the block management program or whether you're just contacting landowners one-on-one. Uh, this land is uh, primarily, for the most part, the private land we're talking about is agricultural land. Mm -hmm. And that means livestock, that means farm equipment and things like that. No matter where you're hunting, you should know where you're shooting. But I would think in this agriculture land, in this private land, even more care should be taken. That's exactly right, Chet. You know, these are working landscapes. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and, you know, safety uh, is, is paramount in, in these situations too. So, uh, you know, you know, if, if you do gain access and, and permission to hunt on private land, uh, you know, uh, practice safe shooting behavior. Um, you know, some of the top reasons why landowners stop allowing public access include unsafe or unethical shooting behavior. Uh, you know, another one you mentioned, uh, you know, crops and things like that. Uh, another reason why landowners maybe decide not to allow public access is because of, of inappropriate driving or parking on, uh, on agricultural areas or off-roads or things like that. So make sure you understand from the landowner where you're allowed to drive and park um, and, uh, and so that you don't you know, uh, you know, ruin crops, things like that, or, or, or you know, go off-road or things like that. So uh, you know, make sure that, that you understand you know, what the rules are. Um, you know, another good rule, uh, and another common mistake that uh, that landowners talk about is littering, mm. you know. Um, and you know whether you hunt on private land or public land or anywhere in Montana, you know, littering is just uh, you know just not a a, um, a good a good practice, obviously. So mm -hmm. uh, you know, make sure that you um, keep keep the place uh, as clean as you found it and, and uh, in 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 good condition when you leave. Uh, seems to me everything you've mentioned there is common sense. Mm -hmm stepped up a notch. Right. Yep. Just practice common sense. Be courteous. Uh, remember to, to, to tell people thank you. Um, and, you know, if, if uh, you know, you, you go and ask for permission to hunt on, land, on private land and the answer is no, you know, still important to be courteous because, you know, you never know that may um, open a door of opportunity for next year. So just keep that in mind and, uh, you know, as you look for places to hunt, plan ahead uh, and, and, you know, contact landowners in advance and offer to help however you can. It's perfect. Again, Morgan Jacobson joining us this morning. Hunting on private land in Montana is a big part of the hunting season, but it comes with responsibilities by the hunters for sure. That's right. Yeah, we, we want to facilitate access wherever we can. So, yeah, appreciate it. Thank you, Morgan. You bet. And that's This Week in Fish and Wildlife. You've been watching This Week in Fish and Wildlife, sponsored by Bozeman-based Sims Fishing Products, the industry leader in fishing apparel.